six years of GP patrol use. And as you'll see, these fuel tanks are done, fuel system's done, and this time we're working on diffs, brakes, maybe a bit of steering, and maybe even a bit of suspension. So you'll see these tanks are now in and are looking pretty nice in there. So basically for today, or this video, what I'm wanting to do is drain the oil out of uh, my diff, drop the center section out of it, all the spider gears, whatever else comes out with it, clean it up in there, make sure it's all nice and well, and take my wheels off, check my brakes, the, uh, the drum lining, the pads, the uh, wheel cylinders, everything pretty much up here, um, and clean it out if it needs to be. Uh, I'm not going to bleed it yet, but I will be doing that before it gets on the road or even drives for that matter. I may have to get into the uh, into the hubs up here. I'm not sure yet. I'm not too sure how they get taken apart, but I'm sure I'll figure out. So, but it's the same story up here with the disc brakes. I'll um, check the the uh, shoes and the disc itself, all that kind of thing, make sure it's all right. Do the diff up here as well. Hopefully, same story. Um, while I'm at it, I will <laughs> replace this 33 with a 31 up the back here, because if you haven't noticed, this car is on a fair bit of a lean because it's got three 31 inch tires and a 33 over there, so I'll just chuck a spare 31 on there. Hopefully it evens out. Um, might have to get into a bit of suspension, steering, that kind of thing, but I will see when it gets to that. So let's get into it. That's, uh, that's seriously quite filthy. Lots and lots of dirt, mud, mud wasp nests, and whatever that is in there. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be fun cleaning out, but the pads look all right. All right. So does the, this um, drum. It's got a couple of scratches in it, or gouges a bit deep but for the most part I think it should clean up fine. Well, the other one was in really nice shape, but this one has kind of demolished itself from the inside out. Um, I can only assume these have been changed because they look quite new, these um, wheel, uh, wheel cylinders. Um, but when someone's put in these um, retainers for the springs that hold these to the back, they've put them in wrong or something's gone wrong and um, these shoes have been flopping around all over the place by the seams of it which has bent these tabs up um, and there's bits of the parts off this laying in the bottom of here everywhere but surprisingly the lining in here is in really good shape like it's probably better than the other side honestly the shoes are uh, not the greatest um there's a crack up here you can see in that one but um they're probably 
salvageable like there's heaps of meat still left on them um, this one has a worse crack along here but all of this is still fine there's still heaps of shoe left That's that rear end done for now. Um, that took a whole weekend and was a bit of a pain because of the suspension side and getting rid of that big bar that came out. But um, I'm happy that's gone now. I've hit my head 50% less. <laughs> but um, yeah, it took a bit longer because of that. Uh, that is all buttoned up for now um, as it should be. I put the smaller tyre over on that side rather than the 33, I put a 31 on there. But the, um, the rim is black, which is a bit ugly, but it um, doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to end up putting those alloy wheels on. Um, the diff uh, itself was in really nice shape, all the gears were, um, were good, looked like it had good contact, no real wear on it. Little bit of sludge in the bottom, but that's it's fine. Um, the axles, though, one of them has a crack up where it goes into the housing in here, just right in the top of the shaft. The other one's fine, but um, I'll end up taking them both out and replacing them before I uh, before I drive it on the road too much anyway, because I don't really want to go full driving and then have an axle break or anything like that. So, that's that. Uh, next weekend I can move on to the front up here. Um, do that diff to those axles and the disc brakes up here. Um, then I can maybe move on to steering. The hubs up here I'll probably end up doing as well with them. And suspension work from there on probably. Okay, so now it's all apart, well, pretty much, um, apart from a few little bits that I could go further, but I'm not really going to bother. 
um, and I know exactly what is good and what isn't, what needs to be replaced and what is fine. Um, so now I'm going to order those parts and uh, just throw this back together for now and when those parts arrive I will take it back apart and put those in and um, all I'm needing is all the rubber seals that kind of thing and that's really all the um, axles are good the CVs look pretty good um, of course I'll re-grease them and that before I put them back in um, the diff is in real nice shape um, it does need new brake pads and these discs need a clean up um, but otherwise it is in pretty good shape Right, we're back with the uh, patrol diffs, brakes, and suspension. Um, not too sure where I was up to, as always, but uh, um, this is all back together at the moment. Um, the diffs are back. I believe this is a H260 rear diff. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. The front is back together. It just looks pretty stock standard. Um, Nothing out of the ordinary in there. They are both in really nice shape, the uh, centers. The axles and CVs on the front were in good shape too. Um, all looks okay. For the point of the video, I've taken it apart and put it back together. In my own time, though, I'll slowly take it apart bit by bit and put the bits in that I needed, but it's going to be the same process again, so... I'm not going to make you watch that, um, unless if you want to, if so, comment down below or message me on Instagram or something and say, but um, anyway, now I'm going to move on to the suspension on this thing, and like the thumbnail will probably have in it, this thing was on a pretty major lean when I bought it, part of that was because it had one 33 inch tyre on the back there, but if you look, it's still has a lean to it um, and that that is down to these suspension bushes which I can't even really say these suspension bushes because they're not they're not really suspension bushes anymore are they they're just they're gone <laughs> um, so they're just completely gone so I'll drop those out smack them out got new Dobinson's ones here ready to go in uh, front and rear um, They're greasable shackles, so hopefully they will be fine and I don't have to replace them because that That's a fair price but uh, Yeah, well, let's get into that
we are back with this rear end completely unbuttoned, all um, all taken apart. All the bushes are out, all the shackles, pins, everything is apart. Um, someone's definitely put different springs on here because I believe these are 500 kilo constant load springs. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Um, Dobinson's, I think they have two, two and a half inch lift, something like that, somewhere around three inch. Um, but yeah, you can tell pretty easily because these are not, as far as I know, stock bushes. They are from different springs, those red ones, um, and they came out of the spring itself. However, these rubber bushes are probably stock and they are out of the frame itself and they are absolutely destroyed like this one came out in one piece and you can see there it is no longer round at all that's been completely smashed um this one wasn't so good and it came out in three pieces and i can stick my thumb through the top of it that is how destroyed these bushes are um the pins and shackles and that are all okay um but yeah this i'm surprised this even drove um okay well, i doubt it would have actually because like look at that that is just smashed um but yeah that that would <laughs> that would explain why the whole car has a little bit of a lean to it because um those bushes are just absolutely destroyed but anyway, I have new Dobinson's ones, um, polyurethane bushes. There you go in there, bam. Um, so I will chuck them in, uh, put the springs back up, clean up those pins and shackles, and chuck them in, grease them up because they are greasable, thank God. Um, I'll clean, clean out the grease nipples in them first though and um, replace all the bushes in this back half of the car and then I can move on to the front. I've even touched this thing but you will see it now has those alloy rims on it um, so I went around changed all the tires swapped out that cracked axle on the back so it's got two good axles in the back now um, and all the tires are swapped over all is well um, all the suspensions done pretty much everything is pretty much good the only thing left to do is I'm gonna have to put a sway bar in here so I have a sway bar on that chassis over there so 
hopefully it just fits on this one and I can bolt over and swap and that'll get me a road worthy um, when this thing is ready for it. So that should be good. Let's get into that. We got that transmission in, so um, a couple of weeks ago, a friend and I um, wrangled it out of that chassis and into this thing, and it is all bolted in with new transmission mounts. Um, pretty good. I should have probably filmed it, but oh well, it's uh, it's in there. And um, anyway, that wraps up this for uh, this little time lapse rebuild of the suspension brakes and drive line on the 96 patrol um all in all pretty good still have to um probably replace the brake pads at some point uh re-grease the cvs put new new seals in them and um yeah oil it all up in here but it should be good otherwise um that sway bar is in now anyway that is that so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.